Mabuhay, Felixian! I'm Sergio Fulgar, your grade 7 Mappy teacher, airing from Felixian TV channel. And I'm here to discuss another interesting topic that will enrich your knowledge on our Philippine culture and tradition. But before we proceed, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for more updates. Let's begin our lesson with the most essential learning competency that is describe the nature and background of the dance and for our learning target we have the following one describe festival dance as a part of philippine culture and tradition two differentiate religious festival dance with non-religious festival dance three realize the significance of festival dances as part of our Philippine culture and tradition. Filipinos are known to be fun-loving and healthy conscious people in the world. But do you know that activities that help a person to improve his physical fitness may also be performed in colorful festivals and street dances. These dances are performed by people in various walks of life for entertainment, fun, and festivity, purposes giving priority to personal fitness while continuously nurturing and promoting their own culture. Now, let us check how familiar are you with the following traditional Filipino performances that are seen in the Philippines. Listen to the instruction. Classify whether the given dance is folk dance or festival dance by putting a check mark on the column that falls under each category. Number one, Dinagyang. Is it a folk dance or festival dance? Number two, Kuracha Samarena. Is it a folk dance, festival dance? Number three, Sinulo. Is it a folk dance or festival dance? Number four, Atiatihan. Is it a folk dance or festival dance? And last, number five, subli. Is it a folk dance or festival dance? Now, let us check your answer. Number one, the Nagyang is a festival dance. Number two, Kuracha Samerenya is a folk dance. Number three, Sinulo. It is a festival dance. Number four, Atetihan. It is a festival dance. And last, number five, Subli. It is a folk dance. Now, let's go to our lesson about festival dance. Festival dance is a cultural dance performed to the strong beats of percussion instruments by a community of people sharing the same culture usually done honoring a patron saint or as a thanksgiving for a bounty harvest. Festival dances may be religious or secular in nature. Festival dances draw the people's culture by portraying the people's way of life through movements, costumes, and implements inherent to their place of origin. Now let me present the examples of religious festivals at non-religious festival. Please pay attention. Religious festivals. Ati Atihan Festival is a feast held annually in January in honor of the San Sininyo in the island and town of Calibo Aklan. The name Ati Atihan means to be like Itis or make believe Atis. Itis were the primary settlers of this island. Next is 
Marianas Festival. It is an annual festival held on Holy Week on the islands of Marinduque. The Marianas are men and women in costumes and masks replicating the garb of Roman soldiers. This is a folk religious festival that reenacts the story of St. Longinus, Roman centurions who was blind in one eye. The Nagyang Festival is a religious and cultural festival in Iloilo City held on the fourth Sunday of January. It is held both in honor of San Nino and to celebrate the arrival of Panay of Malay, settlers and subsequent selling of the island to them by the Atis. <laughs> Sinulog Festival was already danced by the locals in honor of their wooden statues in the period before the Cebuanos were baptized. The image of the famous Santo Nino was brought to Cebu and the Catholic faith was established. Our Lady of Peña Francia is celebrated on the third Saturday in September in Naga City, Bicol. The feast day is preceded by a novena for nine days in honor of Our Lady of Peña Francia. On the last day, the image is returned to the shrine following the Naga River route. Payas Festival, the most colorful harvest festival, every May 15 in Lokban, Quezon. These are known harvest festival to honor San Isidro Labrador, the patron saint of the farmers. Decoration known as Kiping, a multicolor leaf shaped wafers, are used to decorate the facades of the homes along with fruits and flowers from nature. Now let's move on to non-religious festival. The Sonus Festival is an annual Thanksgiving celebration for Kamigian Island's bountiful harvest. The town of Mambahao holds the feast during the third week of the month of October in time for the season of the tropical fruit Lansones. Mascara Festival The festival began in 1980 during the period of crisis in Bacolod City. In the midst of these tragic events, the city's artists, local government, and civic groups decided to hold a festival of smiles because the city is also known as the city of smiles. <laughs> Ibalong Festival it's a non-religious festival in Legaspi City, Albay. It's held in August. The festival celebrates the epic story Ibalong, who was accompanied by three legendary heroes, Hanjong, Bantong, and other ancient heroes.
Kalilangan Festival is an annual festivity that is celebrated in General Santa City in the month of February. Kalilangan means to celebrate the tradition of sharing, hospitality, altruism, that is the part of the cultural heritage of Mindanao. Panagbenga Festival, a month-long annual flower festival held in Baguio City, the summer capital of the Philippines. The festival is held during the month of February, a tribute to the city's blooming flowers. Now, let us try to answer a survey questions about festival dance. Answer the following survey questions on festival dance. Put a check mark on your choice and answer the questions below. Number one, do you have a festival in your town? Is it yes or no? Number two, is there anybody in your family a member of festival group? Yes or no? Number three, have you experienced watching a festival dance competition? Is it yes or no? Number four, do you watch festival dances on YouTube or in TV shows? Is it yes or no? Number five, do you believe that festival dancing improves one's fitness? Is it yes or no? Number six, have you been involved in a festival in your place? Is it yes or no? Number seven, are you proud of festival in your place? Is it yes or no? Number eight, do you agree that only those who are physically fit can participate in festival dancing? Number nine, do you believe that festival dancing can improve our fitness and personal discipline? And last, number 10, do you agree that one's physical fitness can improve by actively participating in festival dance? That is yes or no. Now, let us see your answer. If you have one to three yeses, you are active in festival dancing. If you have four to eight yeses, moderately active in festival dancing. If you have seven to ten yeses, you are highly active in festival dancing. Let's have another activity. Are you ready? Arrange the jungle dwellers by using the given location as a clue. Write your answer on the blank before the number. I will give you five seconds to answer. Number one, a festival in Lokban, Hesong. Number two, festival in Cebu City. Number three, Festival in Baguio City. Number four, Festival in Legaspi City. Number five, a festival in Camiguin Islands. Number six, Festival in Bacolod City. Number seven, Festival in General Santos City. Number eight, 
Festival in Kalibu Aklan. Number 9, Festival in Marinduque. Number 10, Festival in Iloilo City. Let us check your answers. Number one, the answer is Pahiyas. Very good. Number two, the answer is Sinulo. Good answer. Number three, Panagbenga. Good job. Number four, Ibalong. Wonderful. Number five, Lansonas. It is delicious. Number six, mascara. Am I handsome? Seven, Kalilangan, a festival of culture. Number eight, Ati Atihan. Is it my color? Number nine, Moriones. It is my fate. And number ten, Zinagyang. Very, very good. Now, let's have another activity. Identify the following festival. Write RF if it is religious festival. And write NRF if it is non-religious festival. Number one, Panagbenga Festival. Number two, Mariones Festival. Number three, Lansones Festival. Number four, Ibolong Festival. Number five, Dinagyang Festival. Number six, Sinulog Festival. Number seven, Ati Atihan Festival. Number eight, Mascara Festival. Number nine, Feast of Peña Francia. And last, number ten, Kalilangan Festival. Let us check your answers. Number one, NRF. Number two, RF. Number three, NRF. Number four, NRF. Number five, RF. Number six, RF. Number seven, RF. Number eight, NRF. Number nine, RF. And last, number ten, NRF. Now, let us check your scores. 9 and 10, excellent. 8 to 7, very good. 5 and 6, good. 4 and below, don't worry. There's room for improvement. Now, please get your notebook to answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the name of the festival you celebrate in your town? Number two, when do you celebrate it? Number three, why do you celebrate it? Number four, how do you celebrate it? And number five, who is the patron saint of your town? Are you finished? Send your answers to your MAPI teacher to get additional 10 points in your written task. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. And for our reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson by completing the following statements and send it to your MAPI teacher. I learned that, I realized that, I am happy because, have a wonderful day learners. Remember our battle cry, Felicians moving forward together. Thanks for watching.